Good morning, Gilcrest Grizzlies, and welcome to Grizzly AM, your morning news show. I am Owen. And I am Isabella. Today is Friday, August 23rd, 2019. It is Special Area Day 3. Please stand for the morning pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the news. Yesterday we showed you the pictures of the new artwork that is on the walls around our campus. The audio cut off before. We could tell you the story behind it. The paintings reflect all acts, acts, aspects of our school and were done by our fab, fabulous art teacher, Miss Mendenhall. Thank you for sharing your talent with us. Here is Avery with our Friday PBS winners. Good morning, Grizzlies. Today we will celebrate our fifth grade winners who were caught being respectful, responsible, safe, and a team player. Without further ado, let's congratulate our winners. From Miss Berry's class, Gianna. Brody H. from Miss Bryant's class. Meadow from Miss Gray's class. Chandler from Mr. Kenton's class. Asar from Miss Sims' class. Lindsay from Miss Schof's class. And Peyton from Miss Wilborn's class. Thank you, Avery. Now here's Katie Scott with our Go Chris weather report. Checking our Grizzly weather station, we have a current temperature of 75 degrees and a projected high of 92 degrees. There is a 40% chance of rain. And now it is time for the Principal's Corner with Mr. Crow. There we go. Good morning, Grizzlies, and a fantastic Friday to everyone. We've had another great week right here at Gilchrist, and I uh, can't believe we're already two weeks into the school year. Everybody's doing great. We know our routines, and everybody is really, really coming along with a great school year. And uh, I love seeing so many of you wearing your Gilchrist spirit wear today, whether it's something red or a Gilchrist shirt or a bow that you might have worn today. So it's great on Fridays to see all that Gilchrist spirit. I enjoy that every Friday. And as you know, we, uh, we have fun Friday funnies again this year. And I'm going to pick a special Friday funny out of our joke box. And I will tell you, I was surprised to see we had over 20, maybe 30 uh, Friday funnies put in our Friday funny box this week. So if you've got a good joke, you can come down to the media center and put it right here in Mr. Crow's box. And we may pick yours out on a Friday to read. Let's see who we picked out this week. Dax, second grader from Iot uh, Stewart's class. And our Friday Funny of the Week is, what is a tree's favorite soda? Root beer, of course. Good one, good one. I like that one. Way to start the year with our first Friday Funny. And we've got a very special guest with us, Miss Austin. Good morning. How good are you morning, today? Good morning, Mr. Crow. And you've got your red Friday Spirit Day Spirit shirt on. You bet. And I know you've got some important announcements. So, boys and girls, please listen carefully. Yes. I want to thank Miss Donaldson for my cute shirt. Mm -hmm. So, boys and girls, as you know, I know that you've seen me in the cafeteria. We have some rules in the cafeteria. I have asked your teacher to go over these rules with you, but I just wanted to remind you this morning of what the expectations are. Boys and girls, when you come in, basically when you're at your table, we want you to remain seated. We want you to raise your hand for help. We want you only to talk to your neighbor, but use your inside voice. Some of you are using outside voices, and we cannot do that. And if you see Miss Austin's eyes getting big like this, it means that you are doing something wrong and these eyes are wanting you to fix it. So make sure that you ob oblige my eyes. Clean up your area before you stand up to leave. For the third through fifth graders, we ask that you stand, um, lift up your seat, and then pick up your lunch. But for K through two, we are asking that you stand, clean up your area, and then take your trash. Turn towards the table that you're si seated at. We have lots of boys and girls that like to turn around and talk to the people next to them at the table behind them or talk to their friends across the room 
or when people are in line, they like to talk to them, wave at them, and have conversations way across the cafeteria, that's a no-no. We do not do that. So I'm just reminding you of the rules. Follow directions from all faculty and staff in the cafeteria. I know you see some new faces in the cafeteria during lunch, but they are the adults. They are in charge. You need to listen. Okay, lining up to leave. Get quiet and listen when all adults are lining you up. So when we are talking to you at your table, some of you are still talking and eating. If you see an adult come to your table, it means it is probably time for us to start talking to you, start lining you up. That means all eyes and ears, I had that a little wrong, all eyes and ears need to look at that adult and listen. Um, place your trash in the garbage can. We have kids that are aiming, throwing. That trash goes all over my beautiful clothes and y'all don't want me to act crazy when you dirty up my clothes. So please make sure that you do not throw your trash in there. We want you to place your trays in there so your food does not splatter. Few more rules. Line up on the pause in a straight, quiet line facing the front of the door. Um, and then pay attention and listen for your teacher to pick you up. We have lots of kids that jump in line. They're not on a paw. They're dancing. They're hopping. They're flipping. They're doing all kinds of things. We need you in a straight, quiet line facing the front. We need you to follow the rules in the cafeteria so that our cafeteria can run smoothly. Teachers, we thank you in advance for talking to your students about this. And um, I also wanted to say kindergarten is doing an excellent job in the cafeteria. So kudos to kindergarten. I hope everyone has a fabulous Friday. Okay, Grizzlies, let's have a great Friday. And maybe you want to go by the Media Center today and pick out a good book that you can read over the weekend. Read, read, read. Make it a good day. Thank you, Grizzlies. Thank you, Mr. Crow. Our thought for today is if you find a path with no obstacles, it probably doesn't lead anywhere. Please join us tomorrow. I mean, please join us again Monday for another edition of Grizzly Am. Have a great weekend.